Hello again. It's been a couple of weeks. We finally got our RP2040 boards in. And, uh, okay, so this is the board that came in. Um, it, it's exactly what we asked for. Um, notice that, um, let me see if I can get something white underneath it. It's got these little pegs on the side of how they attach everything. So um, just a little bit of sandpaper, that'll take that all off there and that won't be a problem. Um, so this one I've already sanded down. Now, I've handled these boards a lot, and one of the problems is the oils and greases from your fingers on the contacts is a problem. So I just use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, and we'll just clean that off. Um, we need the solder paste to stick to this thing. Now, I botch this regularly, so if this video doesn't go as smooth, it's the breaks of the game. Okay, so I've got this stencil uh, holder. Uh, a jig that I've got set up and this plastic piece here is um, just the same thickness of the PC board so I want to put that up tight against here and I need something to hold it so you know I've got a board from a past project that's that's quite sizable and we're just gonna put it up here tight against it like this and then I'm gonna tape this guy down to make sure it doesn't go anywhere So now this board is in pretty good solid shape. Next up is, um, this is my stencil. And uh, let me get some something white underneath it so you can see it. Um, I don't always use a stencil, but it has holes where we want the solder paste. And that RP2040 processor chip is really a pain to do it um, without a stencil. It's got a center conductor. Uh, if it didn't have that, I would literally just solder this down by hand. It's not nearly as difficult as you would think. Now, um, it may not show up really well in the videos, but I gotta get this lined up perfectly. And, uh, let's see here. That side looks good. And I, I'm just taking some in the opposite corners. And I can fix some mistakes. Okay, now I need to tape this thing down so I can I can peel it back off when I need to. And again, I'm I'm trying to tape it to pieces that are of the same elevation. And I don't know how do we do here. See that didn't. That didn't go as smooth as I want, so let me let me try this again. Okay, that side looks good. And that looks good. And I'm going to put an extra little piece of tape on the on the other side just to hold it down while I try to while I try to get the solder paste on it. Okay. Now I know the video is kind of sucky on this. Let's see here. I wonder if I can get that a little bit tighter. Then we get a little bit of reflection from the light. Let's see if I can move that a little bit out of the way without losing everything. The microscope gets me too close and I can't really work underneath it So for, for this part of it. And we'll switch back to that shortly. Okay, so now I've got my, my solder paste and uh, I'm gonna take a, a credit card type device and I'm going to squeegee it across the board and I want to do it in one shot and it's never worked out before so there's no reason to think that it's going to work out this time but we're going to get really we're going to be a really generous with the uh, solder paste here 
And I'm going to put a couple other blobs in spots, not on parts. And I can I can fix it up with the soldering iron later. So now I'm going to take the uh, my credit card here, and this is the part I I botch so frequently, and I've got to push on it fairly hard. And let's see, did I get everything where it's supposed to be? And I want to I want to do this in one shot. Because if you do it in more than one, then you know you tend to push the solder paste underneath things. Now I've got all the solder paste back on the on the on the credit card here, but it looks relatively good. There's a couple of spots by the USB connector that look a little marginal, and I'm going to ignore those for the moment because I can fix that with a soldering iron. And me to go back and well, I guess it's right on the edge. I could possibly do it. I'm just going to take a little teeny screwdriver here at the risk of blowing everything else up. And I'm just going to just put a little bit right there. Okay. So now I need to put this someplace so I don't get lead over everything. This is lead-based solder. It, it works a lot easier. Okay. That's out of my way for the moment. Now I need the stencil out of the way, and I need to peel this up gently. And get it out of the way. And I'm just gonna, just got tape on it. I'm just gonna tape it up there for the moment. Okay. So that looks good. Um, that's better than I was expecting. Okay, so now we can actually start putting parts down and uh, I need to go get my parts list of where's what's where um, let's switch over to let me pause this video and, and restart with the uh, with the microscope because I think that'll actually be way clearer